beautiful model. I wanna sing to a Quavo Sinatra. I ain't mad at him, baby. If I sing to you, I mean to a beat, boy, you crazy. Diamond and a rope, you look as good as Oprah's baby. No, I just wanna take you out. You in your mama house, overseas, I fell you out. Is it tricking you? She really ever? Let's just find it out. Baby, what's up with your mouth? City girl, straight from the south. What the hell? Why am I so washed out? Alright, hey guys. So, I don't know what was up with this lighting, but I look cringy right now because I'm still not really getting ready. Listen, don't fight me. I know that I've been gone for like months. I apologize. Right now I'm in New York City with my fiance Ken and we are just traveling. We're on vacation. It's the, like the week of Thanksgiving. Um, we're gonna spend time with family and then we're going to London and Paris. So we're gonna take you along with us. And Ken just got out the shower so I'm gonna turn this way so you don't see anything and I'm so sorry for not vlogging for like months but life has just been super crazy and really busy I've been just working school you know planning wedding all that jazz so yeah it's been a lot but Probably. now the lighting thank you and the lighting got messed up again so I'm gonna go and finish getting ready but I just wanted to say hey and welcome to a new vlog. This is like our favorite spot, and we're just having dinner before think. This is what? It, what's today's date? Today's Wednesday. The twenty third. Yeah. See, I'm already kind of drunk, and I only had half of my first drink. So, anyways, I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to hear me right now because the music is blasting and people are really loud. But I am going to enjoy my dinner. So I don't know when you're gonna see me, but I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Video. Wait, how are I 
I knew he was going to do it. No! Okay, okay. Bye. Really? Y'all see how I'm being treated. I just shut the door. I'm walking on me, mom. <sighs> Today is Ken and I's, or me and Ken's. Yeah, that's the proper way to say that. Four year anniversary. So I'm really excited that we got to travel together and this is technically the first time that we've ever been on a vacation together where we left from the same place and we'll be returning from the same place because for the past four years or the majority of our relationship we were long distance so we didn't get that luxury i am going to be doing my skincare and just taking off my makeup i had on a upart wig earlier we were in new york which i didn't really vlog much because I've shown you guys what I usually do when me and Ken do in New York and it's kind of redundant at this point but um, when I was in New York I had my hair in braids and cornrows and then they just got messed up so I just decided to take them out if you hear noise in the background that's Ken watching Batman vs Superman so yeah sorry about that I'm using the makeup remover cleansing towels from Neutrogena I feel like these are like an OG thing everybody uses just to take off that first initial layer of makeup so we are staying at the new marriott um it's near the london eye i'm not sure what the name is of this particular marriott exactly but i know it's a marriott hotel and it's really beautiful um i will make sure to do like a mini hotel room tour at some point we got here super super early we flew in the middle of the night from jfk to heathrow to london heathrow and we got here at like 7 a.m 6 a.m definitely london is living up to the stereotype of being cloudy and gloomy right now hopefully it's nicer tomorrow so that was the first wipe i gotta do my second wipe but yeah i'm super excited to be here this is my first time in europe ever very very fortunate and happy that especially during this time during a global pandemic i'm able to travel we were supposed to do this back in like 2019 early 2020 but then the pandemic happened and prevented us from traveling anywhere everything works out in the long run and it just so happens that it landed perfectly right on our anniversary so it's kind of like our anniversary trip leave things to god or you know just leave things sometimes you can't stress yourself out just let it go and let life take it where it needs to go you know now that i've done that i have my little mac travel bag with all my skincare in it i need to charge this but i'm still gonna use it it's the duval sonic spin brush or i forget what the exact name of this is now because i've had it for quite a while but duval sent this to me a while ago and i actually use it like this video is not sponsored i'm not being paid to talk about this right now like i genuinely use this like all the time and love it my aromatica tea tree balancing foaming cleanser and this is just like a travel size cleanser that i got in like a old ipsy bag i believe um these lashes are like poking me in my eye right now and funny enough while i was in new york prior to us flying into london all three of my contacts ripped i guess they were brittle because i hadn't been wearing them a lot in st thomas have i been like out of focus this entire time i hope not so because i have lash extensions on right now i'm going to i don't have a regular size washcloth because ken used them all so i'm just going to use this hand towel and get this soap off I'm so excited because tomorrow we're going to the changing of the guard and we're gonna do a couple other touristy things and you can make sure you get in your hairline too like literally this is kind of gross but this is what happened I cut my hair a while ago I did not update you guys on that a lot has happened um, since I've been off YouTube but yeah what was I saying oh yeah I cut my hair because the ends were really split and dead and I just needed to kind of chop them off so that my hair can continue to grow and I'm going to a new hairstylist. Right now it looks crazy obviously because I have my hair in the U part wig but when it's 
blown out pressed out and it looks really nice um it looks cute but right now it's just like whatever because i'm just using a part wig on this trip for the rest of this trip anyway so yeah but i really like the shorter hair for right now just because it's easier to manage when i am in st thomas it's too hot for all that um and my long hair wasn't even that long to begin with but it was just damaged and um uneven like the lengths were uneven so she trimmed the back of it because the back like here was really long but then up here in the center of my head was really short and then long again at the top so it just looked really choppy whatever y'all don't really care <laughs> just gonna basically wash my face again and then apply my skincare products are you serious ag yes babe okay here we go this is the Kiehl's Calendula, Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. Do these have cotton balls in them? Thank God, okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Align Reducing Concentrate. It has 12.15% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. And I don't really have major lines or wrinkles, but I am 25, so this is around the time when you should start taking preventative measures and anti-aging techniques and incorporating them into your skincare routine, like when you're in your 20s, so that you can prevent aging as opposed to trying to combat it once you've already started. I have like a couple of lines here up in my forehead, which I'm a little worried about, but I mean, I'm a very expressive person, you know? I like to laugh, I like to cry, I like to experience things, so it happens. Lastly, I have the Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this on and kind of just focus it around my eyes. I just wanna put it in the points where I feel like I need retinol and serious anti-aging or the signs or the places that show signs of aging earlier on which is like the eyes the forehead and then down the neck here the decollete and my lips are dry af so i need my handy dandy wait this is a kiehl's mask this is not what i wanted to use <laughs> Where's my lips leaving now? My lips are so ashy. Got it. Okay. Okay, and now I just take it on my finger because I washed that spatula that comes with this a long time ago. Boom. What I could do is put on a spa treatment. I have this Oxy Maximum Action Spa Treatment with Benzoyl Peroxide. It works, but I really don't feel like having like potential residue on the pillow. So I might not do that. But anyways, that was all for my nightly skincare routine while I'm traveling. I will talk to you guys Tomorrow, I think, is when I'll vlog next. And I, again, I really hope that the noise, what the hell's out of my face? Oh, the mirror. <laughs> There's like a mirror on the side over here. And it was doing that the whole time, I bet. Oh well, Um, yeah. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I know, right? He missed the memo today. Going to the changing of the guard.
Okay, guys, so oh, we just got God. back to the hotel. Ken is exhausted. We did a lot of walking around and we went on this tour. We went to Westminster Palace, right? No. Yep. That's what it's called. Okay, because I wasn't paying attention. Saw the changing of the guard. Yep. Saw the changing of the guard. All the pomps and circumstance that goes with it. Yep. So we did that. And then after that, we went to Harrods and I Eight. got. Yeah, we ate and <laughs> more importantly. Anyways. So, I got my first pair of Balenciaga shoes. So when you get, when you buy something, they give you like this little card with the receipt in it. I'm obviously not gonna show you guys the receipt. And then here's the box. It's a little scuffed up, which I wish it wasn't, but at the same time, it's whatever. Is this clean? Okay, put it on my side. Okay, so when you open it, there's the dust bag. And it's actually, it looks like it's, um, oh wow, it's literally like a drawstring bag. That's cool, that's a nice touch. Here they are! I got the original versions. I don't like the ones that have the cutouts on the sole. I feel like it looks, I don't know, I have trypophobia, so I think that it triggers my trypophobia or something. But yeah, why is the lighting so bad in here? I, it's dark in here. Hopefully you guys can see everything. But yeah, this is my new pair of shoes. And I love them so much and I've wanted these for years. But I got a size 8 UK men's, I think. Wait. Yeah, we're right? Store. Yeah, because we were at the men's section of Harrods. And that's a European 42. So yeah, that's a women's, a US size 11 women's. Um, so, yep, because I got big feet. And I figured I would size up instead of getting a seven because I could wear it with socks or, you know, when my feet swell up when I'm in St. Thomas. <laughs> so, aren't they so cute? And they're so comfortable. Like, I know I'm gonna wear these all the time. Like, this is, this, it's it, this is it. These are gonna be my everyday, all the time sneakers because they're just so cute. So besides that, I'm sure Megan's going to include footage of the day. Oh yeah, obviously. So before, like I didn't vlog when we were actually in Harris because it was just too hot and there was like a million, million people, people and most people weren't even wearing a mask. Like that's one thing that I noticed about being here in, in London so far is that it's the optional. it's optional um which in the u.s the majority of the states it's a mandate like you have to wear even a mask new york is more lax than the US yeah even new york city wasn't as strict which is surprising to me but yeah the usvi is not playing when it comes to the mask mandate like you have to wear a mask regardless, regardless of if you're vaccinated or not if you go inside to like a store, you have to wear one. The only time you don't have to wear one is if you're walking like outside on the street. And even then, mm. it's probably better for you to just have it on your chin or something and then just pull it up when you're going into a store because they will not accept that shit. I'm going to relax now. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm wearing Civil Bandits. I like it. By the way, you know, or just throwing it in way. there. <laughs> Forgot to mention it. Civil Bandits is my brand. And this is the first, I'll show you guys a better look of it, obviously, but this is the first drop. Bathroom. This is the Mental Wealth Collection. And, bathroom. oh, Ken's telling me to go to the bathroom, obviously, because he's the one that's a pro vlogger, not me. Don't mind the mess over here. But yeah, basically, this is the crew neck. And here's the back. And then the matching joggers. Super cute, super comfy, really insulated, which I'm really proud of. It's really comfortable and really insulated. So I was like sweating walking around. That's how cozy this thing is. So I'm super excited to drop these and pre-order coming soon. So I'll leave the information down below for that. And right now, like I said, we're tired, we're done for the day. So I'm gonna do my homework because I still have to finish that. And unfortunately, just because I'm on vacation doesn't mean that I'm free from having to do schoolwork. So 
gonna do that and then relax for the rest of the night. We did a little um, bus tour of London earlier today and we walked around Piccadilly Circus. Um, now we're going back out. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Now we're going back out to Selfridges to pick up some more things and do a little shopping and just have fun. And yeah. I'm wearing my hood because it's cold, but I don't want to wear a hat and mess up my hair. So I'm just gonna wear my puffer jacket. Do we have a full length mirror in here? Yeah, we do. So my puffer coat is from Zara. My sweats are Civil Bandits, pre-order coming soon. This is the white and blue colorway. I also have the blue and white colorway, which is like the inverse of this and my new Balenciaga sneakers. a proper room tour and we're actually checking out right now and we have to hurry but i just wanted to show you guys how beautiful this room is it's not made up though. it's not made up because we messed it up but this is like the little seating area and we were literally right next to the london eye you can't see from this angle but it was crazy like the london eye was right outside of our window and that's the river teams we had these really nice closets and here's the bathroom and we're out of here next stop is Perry. so we just made it to paris we have the nicest room oh my god look at this room what like this mirror is everything look at this shower and then the toilet's over here okay so don't you know excuse this oversized hoodie right now. I'm wearing Ken's hoodie because I didn't feel like wearing my jacket while getting on the train here. So here's a mirror and then that whole entire wall right there is a mirror, which perfect. Like that I'm taking, I'm making a mental note for my future home. And look at how pretty this is. And there's a table here we can eat i can sit and do my makeup if i want to and then there's a little nook and the view of the street how gorgeous like i'm in love
Love Bridge, and we just threw our keys over the bridge. But I didn't know that we were supposed to write our initials on the lock. But funny enough, that's our lock, and it says COD for Call of Duty because Ken's favorite oh, video game of all time. Not. Yes, it is. So we'll know forever that that is our lock. Let's go because it's cold as She's fun. actually cold. I'm actually cold and I'm never cold, so I gotta put this phone away. But yeah. Tower. 